Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? This is Felix from M1News.com with a quick update. Uh, the Yankees have been said to be engaging with the Arizona Diamondbacks for uh, Patrick Corbin. This information was released by Pete Samonetti of the Samonetti Report. What does this mean? This means that uh, you Darvish, like, he's possibly getting the same kind of deals, but it goes comes down to him picking where he wants to play. So there's maybe word that he might sign with the Rangers again or the Dodgers. So it's 50-50 on New Darvish. So what's the backup plan of Patrick Corbin? I showed all of you guys the possible trade scenarios with a three-way trade. Obviously, the Diamondbacks aren't going to give the Yankees much of a return. But if they do a three-way trade with another team, let's say the Baltimore Orioles, where the Yankees obtain a Manny Machado, why not? If you're going to trade for Patrick Corbin to have him for one year, why not do it? What does this also mean? It means if the Yankees skip out on New Darvish, which is amazing that, let's say, three pictures that Cashman went after he lost. I've never seen that before. Nobody has ever seen that before, that. Three players that Cashman was chasing signed with other teams, and that might be possible. But let's say that situation comes up. There's a high possibility that the Yankees will save money, and it's more of a better gamble to trade for Patrick Corbin, who's a free agent after 2018 season. So that means that they'll be saving money and let's say if you want to re-sign a pitcher like Patrick Corbin, he's not going to cost that much because you already saved with you Darvish. And again, Manny Machado coming to New York. Obviously, I was looking at uh, a video of Todd Frazier just swinging and missing to a pitch that Justin Verlander pitched to him in the ALCS. And it just reminded me that this might be the reason why the Yankees – don't like Todd Frazier that much because it reminded me that Todd Frazier's only claim to fame in New York was when that thumb down thing came out. He wasn't that good in New York, people. Todd Frazier, when he was doing bad, he was doing really bad in New York. So I'm guessing the Yankees' love affair with Todd Frazier isn't that high. So once we know where Todd Frazier's going, that's where we're going to get a good situation and a good read of Manny Machado possibly becoming a New York Yankee. And like I said, if you're going to take a gamble with a Patrick Corbin for one year, hey, why not take a gamble with Manny Machado? Because it was projected that the Yankees were going to sign Manny Machado to begin with. And people keep saying, oh, you're going to lose prospects. Whatever, if Brian Cashby knows what he's doing, he might restock the farm system, training away one of his big arms from the bullpen. So, Brian Cashman is a ma magician. The Yankees are just going to gain. They're going to make a gazillion dollars obtaining a Manny Machado. And it looks like it's going to happen. It's forecasting to happen. Because, like I said, if you Darvish shines with another team, that makes the Yankees making a three-way trade with the D-backs and Orioles that much more possible. And Patrick Corbin isn't that bad of a pitcher. You replace him, obviously, with a Jordan Montgomery in the rotation. Obviously, if you trade for a Patrick Corbin, Jordan Montgomery is pretty much gone. And Chance Adams. That's why where I projected a trade happening with the Orioles, the Orioles will take Jordan Montgomery and a Chance Adams. And let's say the D-backs get a David Robertson or Batances. The Yankees have a lot of players that the Diamondbacks are interested in. The Diamondbacks are also in the playoff race, in the talks. So the only team that's combat compatible with trading with the Yankees, we all know, is the Diamondbacks. Obviously, Jacoby Ellsbury lives in Arizona. The San Francisco Giants are now out of the Ellsbury sweepstakes, uh, signing McCutcheon or trading for McCutcheon. Obviously, uh, trading for Longoria, too. 
the San Francisco Giants have made it more easier for the Yankees to talk to the Diamondbacks and move in on a trade because they are in the same division, West Coast. So, like I said, there's a high possibility once we know where Tall Frazier signs, once we know where Hugh Darvish goes, this three-way deal is very likely to happen or a trade via the Diamondbacks and the Yankees or just bound to happen. Like I said, in this three-way deal, you get a starting pitcher and a third baseman. And from a business perspective, the Yankees won't lose. Like I said, they're going to be the number one draw in literally all of professional sports. So, there you have it. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. There's not much to report right now. All I've been seeing is talks about you, Darvish, maybe to the Cubs, to the Rangers, to the Dodgers or whatever. There's not much talk, but like I said, what I've heard from the Samonetti report, Pete Samonetti from NYNews.com as well, that the Diamondbacks are in dialogue with the New York Yankees. So share, like, and subscribe. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. I'll check you out next time.